Wow, wow, Captain Obvious starting us right off. Hey, we're recording. This is Turn the Pot with Don Kincaid and my very special guests. Because we are, uh, this is the fourth episode of the Fan Roundtable. And boy, are we going to have some fun. We've got some new faces. Uh, I don't know about this one that I see. It's a plastic face, but we'll get into that. Today, we've got uh, Mr. Drinkwater. Uh, we've got the future Donovan. We've oh, hey, oh, oh, my God. God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Woo, all he had to hear was his name, son of a biscuit. Holy cow. Uh, <laughs> Man, uh, the future is all fired up already. Uh, we have, holy cow, it threw me off my game. We have friend Eric, and we have a, a, a new face. We have Andrew. I have invited Andrew. I hope you you have started off in a very weird element on the fan roundtable. I apologize, sir. Join no, us for this that. journey. Yeah, join <laughs> us for this journey. And uh, um, for the long run, I'm here. <laughs> Now, there's one person I can't see, and I love to see her face. Oh, my God. I love to give her some hugs. Uh, but I don't see her face. I see a plastic. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Hang on. I'm coming. Sorry. Sorry. I'm coming. Oh, that's okay. I love when they say that. Don't you love when they say that? I, I do. I mean, I'm just putting that out there. I love when they say that. Uh, oh, terrible, Dawn. What a beautiful setup, Miss Joanna Robinson. Oh, Here my God. Sorry. Sorry, yeah. I needed yeah. my space. Sorry, oh my I didn't God. want a blank space, so no. like I set that up so that you guys didn't just have like a blank space. You know, I will you know, say I, that was amazing, Miss Robinson. What a joy to have you with us! Hey guys, yeah. yay, me. <laughs> so, so now I, you know, I do surprise guests, but Joanna Robinson. I wanted to bring her on as, as a fan, if you will, because she plays both sides of that guardrail, if you will. Um, I do play both and, sides. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah but I would like, uh, I'd like to have her join us as a fan and have some fun with us, you know? I do have a special guest. I think one is going to blow me off because he's got a bad attitude. We're going to find out in a little bit. Uh, but I got a backup. Kincaid's always got a backup, so uh, you're going to love that. Um, so, um, hey, how is everybody on this fine Saturday? Uh -huh. Good over here. Good awake. Over here. <laughs> <laughs> she says awake. Uh, well, you know, like, it, like, quarantine has me so off on my schedule. Like, I literally have become a vampire where, like, I sleep all day and I'm like a night owl. <laughs> so, when Dan, Don was like, what time do you want to do this? I'm like 12 because that gets me up and doing things. <laughs> hey, uh, and i mean it's been a while for me but i love me a nooner so this is perfect for everybody because we get to have some fun at, uh, if i'm up i love a nooner too i'm not gonna lie <laughs> <laughs> uh, i have six interviews today <laughs> morning noon at, it's yeah. what it's, it's like lord of the rings you know breakfast second breakfast oh, Noonsy. I love I love two breakfasts, and I'm a skinny guy, but I'll leave two breakfasts. I think breakfast is a major portion, a, a major part of our day. And speaking of major part, we are in the beginnings of six interviews. What the fuck is wrong with me? Oh, my God, that I thought you need a break. <laughs> yeah, so I had it on bull dread because there's this big thing going on between him and Big Jim. There's a video, a match coming out. No fans. It was just him. And uh, 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 Big Jim going against each other for the IC belt and PAPW. So that video footage is coming out later. So today, I'm going to have Bull Dread on. Tomorrow, I'm going to have Big Jim on. And holy shit, hold on to your seat Aww. for those interviews. I love Big Jim. I, I yeah, can't wait to see that match. Hmm. Now, I'm going to start I'm going to start right off there because we're all fans of wrestling. I want to see who and who isn't familiar with uh, the future. Are you familiar with either Big Jim and or Bull Dread at all? The Beast Bull Dread? No. I haven't heard of them. Okay. Oh, wow. No. Yeah, exactly. See the reaction? You're going to get shit on here, Mr. Uh, the Future. <laughs> I'm sorry. But uh, two big 
big gigantic personalities two big gigantic men uh i am telling you you've got to check out this footage when it comes out it's for paradise alley pro wrestling's intercontinental championship do yourself a favor check out that footage because it's a no dq baby there's crazy shit going on in that match don did i just disappear you did for a second but i'm back now we see you Okay, because I don't see me, so I get nervous I, that I just turned into John Cena. What? <laughs> uh, are you saying you see four Cena. windows? You see four you see windows, Cena. but you don't see yourself? Is yeah. That what you're Take your finger. <laughs> just follow me. Take your finger and swoop one of the windows. Put yourself in, in somebody else's place. <laughs> Wait, I'm you're up in the corner. I don't care. As long as oh, you guys can see and hear me, then it's fine. I don't. Oh, okay. I you're on a laptop. Sure. I think. Yeah, yeah, I'm on a laptop. That's the other thing too. Is I, I like haven't used Skype in a really long time. So I'm like. Yeah, same here. I don't. <laughs> I don't like no. talking to anybody. No, <laughs> since we are talking to Miss Joanna Robinson and. She's our uh, she's our very special guest today. I am so joyed to have her. Uh, you know of both Big Jim and Bull Dread. Uh, could you talk uh, talk to us about this match that they got that we're gonna see it very soon, and it's gonna be today. And I know you know nothing about like the footage and stuff, but talk to us about both of those big personalities. Well, they they definitely are very big personalities. Um, when I first started uh, getting into the wrestling scene. Uh, Bull Dread was actually one of the first people that I met, and um, his character has changed a lot, but he still dominates the room. He's still, whatever character he's, excuse me, coffee, he, uh, whatever character he is at the time, you just are so invested in, and he just plows through wh wh whatever opponent um, as far as Big Jim goes, I love Big Jim. He's somebody else that I met when I first started, and he's always had my back. And he's somebody else that, like, I would never want to get in the ring with because I would die. I don't care who you are. I don't care who you are. He is, like, he's a big dude. And I get very nervous for anybody that gets in the ring with him because I'm like, uh, let me get my med kit ready. <laughs> Did, did you hear that, the future? If you ever see Big Jim, don't you dare take your shirt off like that because he'll come a-running. No, it's like a big target. It's like that, the, like the, the bull cartoons where like they see red and they're like, ah! But both, both on the other side of the curtain, both of them are very um, ring savvy. They know what they're doing. They're wonderful people. They also... Um, have a way of giving advice where it's not like, no, that sucked. They're like, well, you know, maybe you could do this a little better or do that a little better, which is super important as a, to me as a vet because you don't want to just now, feel like you suck. Exactly. Uh, now, friend Eric, please yes, digress on, on Jim and uh, the Bull Dread match because you've been really looking forward to this. I think we lost Andrew. I got to go find my man, Andrew. <laughs> We're dropping uh, like flies. About this, uh, I got to meet. I got to meet uh, Bull Dread on center ring. That's a that was an intimidating moment. I'll tell you that because that's a big, big man to be sitting next to. Uh, I don't know a lot about Big Jim. I've just seen a couple of his promos and whatnot before this match. And hey. I'm telling you, I'm I'm super psyched about it. This is going to be intense. All right, so it's not just me, okay? But yes, yay! <laughs> hey, welcome back, Andrew. Uh, yeah, we I'm were, back. I'm good. <laughs> we were talking uh, Bull Dread versus Big Jim for the IC belt and PAPW. Are you aware of both of those big ass guys, big ass personalities? Yeah, I've heard of. Well, I've seen Bull Dread before, and I've seen Big Jim before. I've seen Big Jim, I think, like twice, and like in person, and then most of the time, like on YouTube. So mm -hmm. yeah, I'm, I'm familiar with them. Uh, am I the only one, or is it, do I just see Andrew's like lips and stuff? Am I missing part of his face, or is it just me? <laughs> it gets zoomed in pretty quick. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, yeah, oh, well, that's a little better. Yeah, yeah, I guess. Um, uh, now, uh, do you have somebody that you you would want to see win said match, Andrew? 
Um, I think experience wise, I'm gonna go with Bull Dread. Okay, all right, all right. Uh, now, uh, Mr. Drinkwater, do you know of both of those, Bull Dread and Big Jim, at all? I do, I do. I've I've seen uh, Big Jim before live. Uh, he is very imitated. Uh, 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 whatever that word is, I don't know. He, he's imitating. Very scary. Yeah, whatever. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, he's uh he is very scary. Uh, Bull Dread, I've seen. Uh, a couple times on YouTube, uh, I think he's been on uh, JCW before because I watched that uh, that organization. So I've seen him a couple times, but uh, he is very awesome. I do like Bull Dread, uh, and if I had to pick a winner, it'd be Bull Dread. Bull Dread, uh, I, I I did not get your pick, Mister Hunting. Uh, who would you pick as a winner? I, I got Dread. I got Dread all the way. Uh, Joanna Robinson, you, we didn't get a winner. Who would you pick? Uh, uh, it's a tough, tough decision. It is a tough decision. It's really hard for me to pick um, sometimes at matches because I'm like, I know you're a bad guy, but like we're going out to eat <laughs> afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, but but I mean, like I I always. I always like when the good guy wins. So who okay. who's the heel in that? Is it Jim or is it Bull? Uh, the heel would be Jim. He came with a very, very dark promo. Uh, I should have known that. I should have known that. It was Jim. Yeah. Uh, How silly. Bull Dread is the champion. You know, we'll find out all together when this footage comes out. So he'll be defending that championship. So I can't wait to find out where all of that goes, man. That's going to be fun. Especially right. no deep. Go ahead. Can, I, can I take the chicken shit way out and be like, I don't care who wins. I just hope it's a good match. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I guess. Whatever. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, they are both really great wrestlers. Like, I do enjoy watching them in the ring. So I feel like whoever wins mm -hmm. is, uh, is going to be, it's going to be a good match. A absolutely. Uh, now, Mr. The Future, we call him The Future. I love The Future uh, because he's got. He's got personality. He's animated. He loves wrestling. Now, that smile on Donovan, every time I see that, that makes me light up too. Miss Joanna Robinson, you are aware of Donovan at the PVP, the WMW matches, yes? I am aware of Donovan, yes. Usually I see him talking to somebody, having an interview, and I'm always just like, I wonder what they're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so with that being oh, said... Oh, I gotta go play the ring! <laughs> it's always <laughs> what it is. The future. How come you haven't had Miss Joanna Robinson on your interview oh. thinking? I'm not oh. worth it. I don't feel... <laughs> no, I wouldn't say that you're not worth it. I, I, I didn't say that. You said that. Yeah, just, I know. <laughs> um, it's just that, like I keep saying every week, I have a list, and I gotta go down the list. So once my schedule frees up, then, then she can be on the show. No, fine. Takes time. Honestly, honestly, it's fine. I, they, the guys, are the show. I'm just in the back. They know, like people know who I am, but like it's about the guys. So like I don't take any offense or anything to that. Well, no we love Joanna Robinson. That's why I had you. All right, now check this, guys. She wouldn't even invite me to her address. I wouldn't either. Probably we had to do a one-on-one. -on -one at a, at a park. It was beautiful. It was a gorgeous day. We had a lot of fun. I even asked her my tester question, friend Eric. Holy crap. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was a good day. Yeah, yeah, that was a good day. I don't like anybody in my house. I don't like it. <laughs> Nobody wants to know where I live. Uh, but my point being is, we like to talk about the referees ring announcers, uh, you name it. We like to talk about it on wrestling. That's why I wanted to have Joanna Robinson part of our show. And that, that's okay if Donovan wants to diss you and push you down the list. No. That's all right. You know, it is what it is. It's not that's that okay. at all, Donovan. Fair <laughs> 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 sure. uh, Andrew, and I know you've met you some Joanna Robinson down at the Test of Strength days, man. Holy yes, cow, we have some fun at Test of Strength. Uh, I miss Test of Strength so much. I can't wait for all this go so we can go back. <laughs> now, one of my points that. now for, for everybody that hasn't met Andrew, Andrew is one of those top, and I do mean top, Dan the Man fans. 
Oh my and god. And it pisses <laughs> me off. Okay, oh. bye. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. What? Oh, oh my god! god. She, she literally, literally left. left. I oh, was just like, uh, I didn't uh, play the history would be a dead. I, oh, man. Oh, my God. Look what you did. <laughs> wow. You did, dog. You had to mention that. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's, I mean, Andrew, we lost you, but we just had our first walk-off on STP. Oh, 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 shit. Oh, man. Let me explain. Let Let me explain. Okay, she's back. <laughs> don't, don't leave. I'm waiting for an explanation. Okay. All right. I'm going to be completely honest. So when I was 12 years old, I went to my first indie show. And Dan was there. Dan and Marcel, I met them. I thought they were cool. I followed their careers ever since. So from 12, I'm, I'm 25 now. I just followed their careers ever since, and I became a fan. So, yeah. Right, yeah, I feel that. Right. I, I guess I'm his biggest fan, but I'm uh, a fan, you know, yeah. from a young age to. Yeah, to did, you, did you like how I knocked Dan's Infinity Stones in his throat? Oh, I didn't see that. You did that. <laughs> He's still pulling them out. <laughs> I have six of them. <laughs> oh. No. Now, at, at Lone Survivor 2, uh, again, we love Test of Strength. I go to every single show. Lone Survivor 2, The Deuce, uh, at East Hampton, Northampton, I always forget. Northampton. Northampton. Northampton, Mass. And uh, Miss Joanna Robinson, Ref Gina, Blue Shoes. I love Blue, blue shoes. shoes. Blue uh, Shoes. Blue <laughs> Shoes. Life. Both of those uh, lovely women, they were dressed up as handmaids and the fans didn't know a damn thing of who it was under those costumes. As the match is going on, it was EVD La Rosa versus Dan the Man and the No DQ for the Test of Strength Championship. I take a little run over to the handmaids. I want to try to make somebody talk or crack or laugh or something. I go running up and I'm on the ground. I'm literally on the effing ground and I'm going, Tanky Kate Harrison, Ricky Kate Files. I am here with the handmaids. What the hell's going on? I didn't get a snicker or nothing. I still didn't know who the hell it was. And man, I want to know though, I was snickering underneath. I'm like, don't say anything, don't say anything, don't say anything, don't say anything. I'm like, oh, no. and little to our surprise, boys and girls, they take the costumes off, and it's Joanna Robinson with a hiya right into the to shazam. The, uh, I believe my words were it was a shazam. A Shazam, yes. A Shazam oh, oh, right oh. to the... <laughs> <It's> <laughs> okay. Oh, no. Okay. A Shazam right to the old fun zone on Dan the Man. And then Blue Shoes, uh, she gives him a stunner or a cutter or a something. I don't know what the hell. Stunner. It flipped oh, yeah. the fans right out of our freaking seats. We pop like... We pop like John Cena and Hulk Hogan just walk through the door. Uh, now, having Joanna Robinson on our show today, could you talk to us about how that was for you being in the ring? Um, well, first of all, I was, I was terrified that somebody was going to notice me. From the minute that I walked in the door, I was covered. I had a mask on, and if anybody talked to me, I was like, I'm getting, I'm sick, oh, COVID-19, please don't talk to me. <laughs> like, no, where, where are the handmaidens go? Let me just go there, leave me alone. Um, and I just hid. I had the handmaiden get up, and I just was waiting, and then all of a sudden I hear Dan go, where are my handmaidens at? <laughs> I'm like, well, that's my cue. What you, a fan. You sit here and you do this and you do that and get out there and you don't say a word, you know, very Dan. It, <laughs> and it is very, very Dan like. It is very Dan. And so I, like, just, so like him. I was, uh, I think I was more afraid that he was going to recognize me or that somebody was going to recognize me. The only person that knew I was there was Gina. Um, she was the only person that knew that I was there. And, um, I just, I was like, just don't, just don't let anybody see it's you. 
don't 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 give in to people with cameras in your face saying what's going on Don Kincaid what's going on <laughs> Don Kincaid, don't running. laugh don't laugh don't just um the match sounded really good I didn't get to see any of it um but it sounded good um, and then I was just like, you're going to get your moment, you're going to get your moment. And then I hear Dan go, get in the ring. And I'm like, this is it. I got you. <laughs> I got you. And it couldn't have been more perfect for him being like, you come over here and kneel. And then as soon as he started in his, you know, cheer, I was like, as soon as I heard him say cheer for me, I was like, no, cheer for me. <laughs> Shazam. It was great. It was great. It was, it's like two years of just pent up abuse. And I just wasn't going to take it anymore. And uh, hopefully the message was sent. Oh, man. What a story you guys have brought us on and test of strength with that whole thing and Joanna Robinson and the fines and the suspensions and the, the hands on. Oh, my God. Andrew, and I know, and I know I'm going back to Andrew real quick, but the test of strength, <laughs> that whole thing, as a fan of test of strength, hasn't that been one amazing ride? Yeah, as the whole series with it, it's, it's really been good. I, I just started going to test of strength sometime last year. I found it on social media, and then I ended up going, and then that's when I met. Like I knew certain people already. Like, I met Slick. I met Slick and. Um, Jimmy Mees back in 2012, same with Bobby Ocean, and obviously I knew Dan and Marcel. So everyone else was, you know, was new to me. So ever since the first show, I just, it's a good show. It's family friendly. It's nice. Even when you walk in the restaurant, they greet you. So I, I really love going to Texas, and I really miss it too. Like that was like almost like a weekly Sunday thing. Like I'll go to Texas Strength, for me and my wife would like go out to dinner after. So I'm not mistaken. You see how Joanna Robinson smiles? Because hearing fans, it's a family thing. You bring your wife, you go to a show, you go to dinner, you have a great day of it. That's what wrestling does, yeah. man. That's why I met you. I know. <laughs> and, and, and I mean, I hate to kind of piss on you when you cheer for Dan the Man and stuff, but man, you piss me off. You're not supposed to cheer for Dan the Man. You're supposed to boo him. I, I listen. I've been cheering for that man since I was twelve years old. So I'm, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep cheering for him. Okay. Do hey, I'm, I'm gonna keep sad wrestling careers. <laughs> but hey, uh, but but Donovan, that's what we do as fans. We cheer who we want. We boo who we want, and we stick to our guns because that's who we like and don't like, right, sir? Mm-hmm. Yep. Now. I know we have some fun at the PVP and WMW shows. Who are some of your favorites to cheer for? Um, Wrecking Ball. I was going to uh, say, I see a uh, Logan Black shirt over there. Oh, that's the shirt <laughs> I designed. Oh, that's the shirt I designed. Yay, Eric. Great to <laughs> Sorry, continue. <laughs> that was super it's fine. I'm trying to think. Um, Logan Black. He's one. Uh, he's actually really nice to me outside of wrestling, too. Um, Hammer Tunis, when he's not a heel and he's a face, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm a, always a good guy uh, person. Um, yeah, there's a lot. Waves and Curls, I know they're new to Western Mass, but they're, they're a good team. So, yeah. Pretty much the whole roster, but... Yeah. Well, I had I had Trayvon from Waves and Curls on here. We talked about that uh, before, but I also I want to point out Waves and Curls, like Donovan said, new on the scene. They have only had literally ten tag team matches together. Are you kidding me? The chemistry that Waves and Curls has right now on the scene is amazing, uh, Mister Hunting. You see Waves and Curls. They came in as a surprise tag team because a, ta uh, a certain tag team couldn't make it to go against uh, the Sumo and Chuck O'Neill as tag team champions. Uh, man, wasn't that some fun seeing Waves and Curls coming in? And have you known of Waves and Curls before then? Unfortunately, I didn't get to see that match. I wasn't at that, uh, that last event. Uh, but I have gotten to know them through online. 
because of that match, I did watch it. What was recorded, I have heard them on different podcasts. I've heard them on Bacon's podcast and and uh, and whatnot. So I, I, I'm aware of them. They seem like a, a hell of a fun time. They, they, and I saw Donovan's interview with them, which uh, let, let's just say that was uh, that was a ride. No, 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 <laughs> Donovan, don't let him hold you back, my friend. You do you. You <laughs> do you. Oh, no, the problem, is, the problem is if he takes his shirt off, Look, then someone else is going to take their shirt off, and then we're all going to take our shirt off, and it's going to be anarchy. All right? So keep your okay. shirt off, sir. I have, a, be anarchy. I, have a, I have a surprise guest coming up. So what I'd like for you to do is talk about that shirt, because Joanna Robinson, uh, she created that shirt over there. I did. This yeah, the uh, yeah, yeah, actually that one, King of Chaos. It's uh, it's quite the shirt. I love the, the whole design of it, and not just because Joanne is on. I, I, as soon as I saw it, it was I bought it at that next show that I was at. I mean, look, everybody knows I have just about every uh, Logan Black shirt that he has, but mm. that's one of my favorites. And because Joanna was going to be on today, I had to put it on. <laughs> I had to put it up there. Look who it is, boys and girls. <laughs> the juice is loose. The juice is loose, baby. There she is. Oh. She's going to be a busy girl today. Hey, good looking. Welcome. Yeah. Oh, oh, hi. Oh, wait, you were talking to Big Juicy. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, uh, Big Juicy is one of our faves around here. Uh, if you don't know, Big Juicy, we have a couple new faces. Obviously, you know Ms. Robinson. And we also have a fan from Tessa Strength. I love this guy, Mr. Andrew. Uh, I can never say your last name, so I'm not even going to say it. I'm just calling you Andrew. That's fine. <laughs> I can't say it, so this is what we're calling you now. New name. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Why do you think we call him Drinkwater? <laughs> Nobody can say that. <laughs> yeah, you got That seems like a story for another podcast. No. Oh, you yeah. know what? It, it's not even like a, hey, Mr. Drinkwater, why don't you throw Ms. Robinson that little uh, story when we were at Battlefront and that kind of came to fruition? Because it's not very of a long story. Well, you came up to me and you're like, I don't know how you pronounce your last name. So I was like, it's easy. It's the Dura Water. And you're like, oh, I'm just going to call you Drink Water. So I'm like, okay, but it's not that hard to say. It's the Dura Water. And Dura at this water. point, I don't know how you came up with that, but I'm going to go with it. <laughs> All right, that makes perfect sense. And now it's a living, breathing thing. I feel like you wouldn't make a, like a drinking water pun to your last name. <laughs> yeah. Well, when I was in high school, everyone used to call me um, Deeds or Deedle. I don't know where they came up with it, but I went along with well, it. So, I like yeah. drink water way better. I love drink I water too. because as soon as I said, I don't even care what your last name, I'm calling you drink water. What did Kulik do? Kulik. Drink water, yeah. drink water, yeah. and the crowd just kind of ran with it, and it's taken a life on its own. <laughs> Definitely has, <laughs> and I have you to thank for that. <laughs> What's so great about wrestling crowds is like somebody shouts something, and it becomes a thing. One sure. thing. This well, is I've, been, I've been going to the ever. shows for years, and I've noticed that like once you start <laughs> something, it goes uh, goes along. Everyone <laughs> goes along with it. Mm -hmm. Uh, just speaking of one thing that's ever said, I was at a, 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 a post show with Big Juicy, and that's how the juice was loose. The, the juice it. is loose was born well, by her just kind of throwing that tagline out. I go, oh, my God, that would be perfect. We stopped recording, and me and her, we were like, if you don't run with that, oh, man, <laughs> you're going to regret it. Huh? Wait. Do... I don't wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. I, I, I don't. No. No. Oh my God. I love when Biz, when Big Juicy talks and we didn't hear a fucking word she just said. She's I'm still stuck. 
I'm not gonna lie. For a second, I thought that she was just mouthing words to like. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's, 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 that's like her sense either. of humor. Because that's her sense of humor. <laughs> I love it. Nope. Mm. Can't. Uh, she is not that. happy. <laughs> can, can can she hear us? <laughs> This happens. This happens when you use Skype. Yeah, uh, when it comes to laptops or computers, it doesn't always make a connection. So when you use the phone, yeah, when you use the phone, that's uh, usually when it comes in a little better. I don't know why that's happened. No wonder why I haven't heard a damn word she said this whole time. Oh. Jesus, Donovan, you let me talk to Big Juicy. She wasn't even fucking saying anything, and if she was, I didn't hear anything she said. I didn't Way, to go, Donovan. Uh, <laughs> Way to go, Donovan. Oh, my goodness. Shut up, Meg. Let me see if I can go grab Big Juicy again. Hold on. Uh, do this. Do that. <laughs> do that. And let's see. But, uh, oh, man. Big Juicy, huh? I love that. I did a little interview with Big Juicy, and Joanna Robinson was right there. You guys were just hanging like like sisters, if you will, you know? I love Big Juicy. She is so good. And I remember when she first started coming around, too, and I was like, ooh, another girl. <laughs> fun. She's such a ball of energy. I love it. She is. Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. She, she works really hard, too. You guys don't see her coming in before shows and helping setting up and... and Okay, up. Oh, can you hear me? Yay! Yay! Yes. I'm never using my laptop again. The juice is back. The juice, <laughs> the juice is back. <laughs> uh, so uh, we were talking, uh, we were just talking the interview that I did with you post uh, event at a WMW and we did okay. that juice is loose thing and you're going to, yeah. you, if you didn't run with it, you, you would have probably regretted it because it's kind of yeah. caught right on, huh? Yeah. Yeah, that was crazy, and I don't even know. I just was rambling because that's what I do best all the time. And it came out, and then you turned, you ended the the video, and you were like, "Where did that come from?" I was like, "I don't know." I just kept talking. <laughs> was it awesome. I in that video? Was I in that video with you? Because I know that there's a video of you and me. That was no. That was the first one that we did. Okay. That was the yes. first one that I had ever done. Okay. Yes. And, and, I and like, we were. Man, I don't know what to expect. Stay here with me. That yeah. Really she was what like, she was like, don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. Because I've never met. Juicy. I got you, Big Juicy. Yeah, yeah I, I've never met Big Juicy. So when a person, as a fan, comes up to you with a camera and goes, <laughs> Hey, do you mind if I do a quick promo with you? It's like, wait. I think what? that was the whole thing is that she's just like, who is this weird guy with a camera? Like, it's no, not, I'm it's literally. Okay. It's okay. No, I'm, I'm literally not. It's okay. Told I told him, I was like, when I first saw you, I don't know who you were, what you did, what you're like, where you fell in all of this. And where like, did you come like, from, God? Ran around with a camera. <laughs> <laughs> that has not changed. That description has not changed. And now we've become very good friends. We have, and we love Big Juicy so much, and I can't thank you enough for joining us. I love to have surprise guests, and I thought this would be a big surprise for one Joanna Robinson because when I did that promo with you, you guys were like <laughs> sisters right there hanging out, and Miss Joanna Robinson was saying how, you know, it was another girl to kind of hang out with at the shows instead of just a bunch of big testosterone filled dude you know so yeah yeah <laughs> to be fair though i think between me and juicy we're probably tougher than them let's just see <laughs> <laughs> juicy hanging with me was just like this is okay you're one of us now 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 uh andrew i'd like to ask because i see you at test of strength uh pretty much every single time we see each other is at test of strength except one time in Bridgeport, we caught the the one and only blood, sweat, and tears event that happened. Supposedly, yeah. we're going to come back to another event of blood, sweat, and tears. So don't you count those guys off. Um, okay. Now, my point being is, do you drive up to Massachusetts or other areas to check out wrestling? Because I drive to Mass, and that's how I've met all of these friends I've made. No, I just go, well, I don't drive, so I just go, like, locally. 
like I said, like I said before, I heard that TOS was locally. It was in East Hartford. I live in Hartford, so it was a good Uber way there and there. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know, I might just have to hit up one Andrew, and and his wife is always more than welcome to come. I might have to dial you guys up, and I know you won't give me your digits. I wouldn't either. I'll have to hit you up on the messenger, but I might have to go pick you up, me and my dad. You know, there's always room in the car. Me and my dad, we go together. Maybe I'll have to pick you up, and we can spread your wings and, and get to some more promotions and shit, you know? Well, let me know. I'm, I'm free weekends. Yeah. Well, <laughs> right. That's usually what they run, I'm right, on the weekends? It'd be a lot easier. Yeah. Hey, and you know, and don't be scared of Donovan. He doesn't always take his shirt off at the show, so don't don't let that frighten you. <laughs> you want me to take no, it off? I, 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 no, hey, no, no, no. I, already, I already told you, Donovan. You do you. That's right. You do you, my friend. Wait, wait, wait. Can, right. I ask what, can I ask one question? Yeah. Okay, so Donovan, how did you start doing taking off your shirt? <laughs> it's easy. Waves and he starts at the bottom, and then he just goes up, you know? <laughs> oh, it's like... It's kind of like a buzzer goes off in my head. Like, if Don says <laughs> ding, like, ding. Don and a shirt in the same sentence, the shirt's coming off. I got to show off my sits pack. <laughs> that, that's what we have to do. I got to pull, I got to pull that shit at the concession stand. Hey, Donovan, let's go get a burger or something. And then, oh, shit, Donovan, look at your shirt. Bam! <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> During intermission, and then just do a lap around the ring. <laughs> oh, I can see that happen. Uh, but you gotta like really fling the shirt around. Yeah, you gotta. <laughs> really it. Look at my shirt. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hey, uh, now I know all of you weren't here last time, but did you know that Drinkwater was a referee? All right, yeah, close on by Lucas Sharp. What? Yeah, I uh, it was um, <clears throat> I don't know if you guys remember uh, Revival Pro Wrestling with Eric Newton. <clears throat> oh, I started, I, yeah, yeah. I actually um, Chris Gallerini or Chris Camaro, as you guys know him, he actually Hello. said he let me uh, referee one of a, a tag team match. It was like the first match, so he says, "All right, I'll give you a shot and <clears throat> everything." And that show had um, it had Coco Beware on it. It had right. John Cena Sr. It uh, had uh, uh, Manu, I think it was his name, the guy that was with uh, Randy Orton and Ted DiBiase Jr. and stuff. Manu was on the show and uh, the Big O. So I was refereeing the tag team match. And me being me, I was nervous because it was my first time refereeing in front of a big crowd. And you know, I was a little nervous. So I was doing my thing. One of the guys comes up to me, pushes me in the corner. I didn't know he was going to do that. Didn't even tell me. He pushes me in the corner, and he went and he went to go chop me. And Evil Nick was in the in the tag team. He grabbed his hand, pulled him down, and then I went to go do the three count. And my hand went down for the three, and I wasn't supposed to hit the three. Ooh. And <laughs> the guy, I hit the three. I'm like, and I'm standing there looking at Evil Nick. I'm like, that wasn't supposed to happen. He says. Wave it off. Wave it off. I'm like, okay. So do the dotion. Do the dotion. It didn't happen. It was two. <laughs> yeah. You know, like, just don't mind. So, and then I went in the back. Freaking after that match, Ma Manu comes up to me, literally grabs me by the shirt, pushes me against the wall, and he looks at me square in the face, and he says, don't you ever fucking do that again. He says, you are... <laughs> A complete idiot. You're a moron. He's going oh, off, off on me for no reason. I'm just standing there like, okay, what do I do? Somebody help. And, uh, <laughs> jo Joey Eastman was on this show. He walks over to Manu. He says, get the hell out of the building. Leave the damn kid alone. It's his first time refereeing. Leave him alone. And I'm standing there like, wow, Joey Eastman's actually backing me up. This is pretty cool. So, you have him, to help. Yeah. So, him. Uh, I think it was uh, Cena Senior and uh, someone else. I can't remember who else. They escorted my new out of the building, and he didn't get paid for that show at all. And oh, wow. that was my first experience as a referee. Then, and my <laughs> yeah. And then the second one, 
I don't know if anyone knows who Joey Gollin is. Joey Rock, Joey Rockstar, I should say, he was known as. He ran a promotion in Rhode Island. So he let me come up and referee a couple matches to, you know, get some more experience. And <clears throat> I actually got to referee, and I know, Joanna, you're not going to like this. I oh, refereed a, <laughs> I refereed a Dan the Man, Lucas Woo! Sharp. Oh, I like Lucas Sharp. All right, I can't be too mad at that. I love it. Yeah, but that, that, that was a fun match to, to referee because yeah. – they were doing a thing where they had a bunch of like flags around the building and <clears throat> they kept pointing up to one and they had me point up to one. I pointed up to the United States flag and <clears throat> they were getting, they were giving me heat about it because <clears throat> I was supposed to point at a different country and they kept giving me heat about it. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, sorry, that's the country I'm going to point to. And, uh, but yeah, that was fun. And I got, I'm still trying to find the footage of it because I got kicked in the face by Dan the Man. And I got a black and blue mark on the side of my face from it. So, yeah, I want to see that footage. Tip, always put your hand up. Yeah, I know. You're going to get kicked in the face. But, I have to. Uh, that was, that was fun. Uh, <laughs> Joanna. I, I knew that Joanna. was going to happen. So, I knew it was going to happen. Oh, God, here we go. Uh, <laughs> Hey, Dan Man is not as bad as you think he is. Uh-oh. What? Uh, no, no, no. no. Uh, all right. And there goes Pandora's box. <laughs> you go, you're getting Andrew all fired up over there, Drinkwater, as well as Joanna Robinson with that sign, too. Man, Andrew's getting all fired up over there. Yes. Oh, well. God. <laughs> but, yeah. But, you know, it, it was a fun time doing the refereeing. And I'm, I've been thinking about maybe going back to school for it and going to do the school and go be a referee again. Really? Yeah, I've been, I've been since, since I, uh, since the time that I told you about the stories, I, I've been thinking very much about maybe going to the school and going back to do a uh, refereeing training and maybe becoming a referee again. I would love to see you get kicked in the face again. Please, <laughs> make that happen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm sure you and a lot of people would like to see me get my face kicked. That would be amazing. <laughs> hey, you said you can't find the footage, so you got to recreate that. Please do that for us, the fans. Come on. I, I'm looking. I think the uh, one for RPW is still uh, lurking out there, so I'm going to um, I'm going to look out for it and see if it pops up in my memories because I did share it a bunch of times. Nice, uh, Mr. Hunt. Yes, sir. You are quite the wrestling fan. We go to the shows. We have a lot of fun. We make relationships with a, a lot of fans. We call them the wrestling fam. We make friends with the stars, Big Juicy, Logan Black, Hack Dynamite, all of that good stuff. Uh, Mr. Drinkwater said he's looking to get back into maybe being a referee. Uh, would you ever, ever consider being part of the program, part of the show, or you being a fan, you're good with that? Don't, don't, don't push me. Um, <laughs> it's something that I always had wanted to do. Uh, when I was a teenager, I had a, a sliver of an opportunity to, to go to a wrestling school. Uh, unfortunately, the, the money, the finances weren't there. And, the, uh, and now, physically, I just can't do it. But, uh, mm -hmm. I would love to. Uh, it's, it, it, just climbing through the ropes and standing next to Johnny Idol to have a picture, I, 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 was, going, I was like a kid again. You know, it was just, it was an amazing feeling to just stand inside a ring. I mean, you know, like Juicy and Joanna, you guys get to get inside that ring all the time. Like, anytime I stood on the apron or in that ring, it's like, it took all my willpower not to try to run against those ropes. I know it would kill me, but I would still love to do it, you know? Uh, it, it's just anything to make me feel like a kid again. I'm not wrestling by myself in the backyard, you know, like I was when I was a kid. It, it, it would be an amazing feeling. But, you know, the, there's guys that are guys and girls that are trained to do it. Let them do it. And I'll sit in my chair and take my pictures. <laughs> uh, Ms. Joanna Robinson. Uh, what? I, I, was, I was just thinking <laughs> it is really awesome to be in the ring with Johnny Idol. That was it, it's so great. <laughs> It's Love an amazing it. Johnny Idol. Now, hearing the fans, the you know, talk the way they do about certain people and 
and, and events and stuff. You, at being both parts of the spectrum, you're a fan of wrestling, but you've been involved in wrestling for quite some time now. We've talked about that on the Stir in the Pot and such. Um, you play a vital part. Being, being on the microphone, not an easy job to do. You have to be part, you have to polish your craft and all of that good stuff as, as well as being a wrestler, a referee, or what have you. Um, I'd like to see you some more. When we get back out, when we get back from this stuff, I want to see some more Joanna Robinson. I'd like to see more Joanna Robinson as well. Um, but uh, <laughs> honestly, I mean, I it's so funny for me to go to a show and Juicy will agree. A lot of times I go to a show and I'm like, I'm just here to watch. And then intermission, I'm fixing a ring. So it's, yeah. really, <laughs> it's really hard for me to go to a show as a fan. Um, and like there was one show I went to, it was not, I'm not going to say the promotion I was there to watch. Um, and I'm hiding in the back. Like I am legitimately in the back of the room. I don't want to be seen. I just want to watch guys and somebody, I think it was Fogman. Honestly, it was either Fogman or one of the Schluters. Spotted me. And it became a, Joanna's here. Joanna's here. And I'm like, nope. <laughs> And I felt really, I actually felt really bad because I wasn't there to be like part of the show. I was just there to watch. It's hard for me to be a fan because I do genuinely enjoy watching wrestling. I have since um, the 90s. I still enjoy doing it now. Um, my dad and I will sit in the den and watch Raw and um, NXT and SmackDown. And, you know, he is uh, able to kind of get back into wrestling. So it's nice to talk to someone about it in my family um so it's not you know it's, it's hard to be a fan and also have a part in it as well you know like i said like, like i'm just here to i'm just here to watch and like see the guys and like hand over comics and all of a sudden can you do the door can you film the match can you set up the rig can you do this and i'm like like and i can't say no i can't say no so i frustrate myself I just frustrate myself because I'm like I just want to watch, but that's not that that rope's not tight enough. Juicy, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, big juicy, having another female by your side like that, and you know, like a uh, almost like in, instead of not being just one of the guys, it's a girl. It's got to be a different feel in wrestling specifically when you have a a, a friend that's a woman to be able to kind of hang out with and talk to and bounce ideas off of, right? Oh, absolutely. I mean, like, I'm always down for being like, yeah, I'm one of the guys, like, you don't treat me any differently or whatever. But like, with like Joanna or like any of the female talent that I work with, like, it's cool to just, you know, like, we go, we go to our little separate locker room area, we'll go get ready and we get to hang out and call our things and stuff like that. So, like, it's definitely a different. Yeah, and Joanna gets to listen. And it's like, it's definitely a different it's a different type of relationship which I think is really really cool and honestly being still pretty new to it all and being pretty green like getting to build those relationships um it's it's really cool I mean like when I before I even started training and everything I would go to shows and I'm sitting here and I'm watching people like Skylar and Ava Everett and Davian and like all these people and now I'm in the ring with them and I'm like when, like, when did this happen? Where did the time go? Where now it's all, like, they're sisters to me. Like, I can rely on them, and it's awesome. It's a great feeling. Actually, um, when, when you disappeared, I was saying that I remember when you first started coming around to help out at mm -hmm. uh, PVP and Western Mass shows, and I was like, she worked her ass off. She was so likable. She was so nice. And she, you do. You do genuinely work your ass off, whether you're in the show or not. And that's so important. To me, that's really important to see is somebody being you gotta, like. You got to pay your dues. I mean, there's, there's, and that was something that was kind of like explained to me very early on when I kind of got into all of this. It was like, it doesn't matter how far you are into training. It doesn't matter if you've taken your first bump or if you're suplexing people in training. Once you start training and you're in this bit, like the business, like you go around, you make those relationships. You say, Hey, I am training right now. And like, I will work for you for nothing. Just like, keep me in the back of your mind 
when I get to that point when I'm ready to work shows and it's like Cameron Tunis has been so gracious to me Matthew James Jeremy Leary like all I went and put in the time I worked the door I set up and broke down rings and it's paid off and they've been great to me so it it, it might suck in the meantime you're like oh I gotta carry all this stuff and it's heavy and it's but it's worth it in the end. Carry that stuff when you've had wrist surgery. <laughs> oh, yeah. I know. Like, yeah. No. Sorry. Now, now oh. Donovan, uh, the future. Hearing Big Juicy and Joanna Robinson because they're in the biz, if you will, uh, hearing that stuff, doesn't that give you, as a fan, a little bit more knowledge and maybe get you a little bit kind of closer? And we don't, we know what the line is. We don't cross that line. We're a fan. We get that. But it gives you just a little bit more of an insight to get you a little bit closer of that connection with wrestling, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I see what they do before the show and after the show. Like you go there and like the ring is like ready perfectly. And then the fact um, that it takes uh, a lot of people just to take it down, it, it gives you a whole new perspective of it. It's not, it's not easy. And I give them a lot of props for it. Uh, absolutely. Now, you've been doing these these cool interviews. Your mom helps you out, which is a fantastic team. I love that about you guys. Um, why why the interviews? And are you going to keep it going once we come back? And I, I hope you say yes, but are you going to keep this whole interview thing going? Um, I'm actually thinking about retiring. Uh, once the, <laughs> the back, I, what? I, I uh, hit rock bottom. <clears throat> I turned 16 a month ago, and it's just, it's all downhill. I'm just kidding. April Fools. Oh, my God. <laughs> April Fools when we had her. I've been away right. from May. They go 20s yet. Oh, wow. Okay. No, the interviews, oh my God. they will keep going until, I don't know, as long as I can uh, like keep I know doing to talk to. and finding people <laughs> to interview, uh, they'll be there as long as I can. And um, I just, it's just something to do. Something that uh, do, uh, I look forward to it at the end of the mm -hmm. week when I know there's a show coming up. So. Yeah, absolutely. And you got all of us, you sons of biscuit. What the hell are you doing? Twisting my mind like that. You're retiring. What the hell's the matter with you? <laughs> I, know, I just thought I would put it well out. Played, well played, well played, well like played. Whoa! My, just like Holy my cow. top back. One, oh, that's three. not. <laughs> I, I, I said Donovan and Biscuit. I didn't say Donovan and Shirt. <laughs> yeah, no, the captain is not happy. <laughs> oh, boy. Andrew, yeah, Andrew, see the fun we have when, when we meet new friends, different promotions, and that's why we got to get you out there, my friend. Yeah, like, right now I'm just having, like, fun that's, like, talking about wrestling. And even when I told you down before, like, I watched it, just throwing the pop videos before it. So when you told me or asked me about the show, I was kind of like surprised. I'm, like, I'm just a, you know, a regular guy, you know, but seeing all these other like wrestlers, you know, so I'm really happy I'm here. Yeah, man. Hey, You're one of us. We're, all regular, we're all regular guys. Donovan just took his shirt off like six times. Well, Are you kidding me? <laughs> you want to do it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Seven. <laughs> Remember what well, I said? Well, the time I watched the pop video, I never time. seen the, a fan one before until uh, I think the one for this one. I never seen a fan one. It was always a a wrestler or a referee. So mm -hmm. yeah. So did you did you like how the format is? We kind of just hang out as friends and talk wrestling. Do you, do you dig it like that? Yeah. Yeah. It's and, and look, we've got fun. like big. We've got superstars. We've got big juicy. We've got Joanna Robinson. We've got the future who takes his shirt off at any time you say the future and shirt. I mean, okay. come on. Like that. That. <laughs> and it's on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. I'm just like this. track. <laughs> That's how bored I am in quarantine. <laughs> Uh, that's like it's so uh, weird like that you do just become like really close really fast yeah and, yeah. and it's the other thing about wrestling too that i've noticed is that like you can get into fights with people like really damaging fights 
And like a month later, you're like, yeah, we cool. <laughs> in the face. Want to go out to eat afterwards? All right. And like, no big deal. You know, you do that, you get into a fight with somebody at work and it is a constant, like, I hate you. That's because you see them every day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But like with social media, you know, we're always talking and, and stuff like that. Um, so I just think it's, it's so interesting how many, like, I'm not, you know, like there are guys that I've been like, you know what, fuck you. I'm never coming back. I hate this place. I hate all of you. And then I'm back a month later, like, Hey guys, what's up? And they're like, hey, I'm like no, no, it's, it's so interesting to me, the wrestling world. Yeah. Do you know what we call that? Miss Robinson wrestling. <laughs> wrestling. <laughs> hey, uh, you know what? It, br- wrestling, and I say it on this show a lot, and I spoke to Sean Donovan out of uh, New York this morning at 10, bright and early, 10 a.m., me and Mr. Donovan, man, I am telling you what a bowl full of information that guy is. He's a trainer right now at Create, uh, at uh, WrestlePro. Oh. Oh. Wow, yeah. And we had a great conversation, but the uniqueness of wrestling, it's like none other in the entire world. You could look at football. You could look at any sport. You could look at any hobby. You could look at anything. Wrestling is a very unique environment, world, sport, uh, whatever you want to call it, man. An art form because it, it, that's what it is first and foremost is an art form. But look at this. Never knew a one of you. I go to wrestling shows. We've gained relationships. We make networks. I do little promos with Big Juicy. We share some footage. We have some fun. Donovan takes his shirt off. Now he's kind of half naked on the show. Andrew, Does that count as I, eight? I announced that he's a big Dan the Man fan. Joanna fucking oh. bounces on us. I've never had a walk off yet. Uh, Drinkwater shares referee stories. Eric Hunting has a shirt that was made by Joanna Robinson. Her her marketing, you know, her her ideas, her creativity coming to life on wrestling merch. I mean, this is what. Where the fuck did the future go? Somebody got a new shirt. The future oh. is bleak. <laughs> the future is. The future is. Uh, but, the future is to come. God, I'm very confused. My point. <laughs> what the? Did he just put on a singlet? What? What is that? Did he just put on a singlet? Did he just put on a singlet? He just put on his singlet. What did you wear for him? Shirt, no shirt, singlet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my Lord. See, that, that could be the future right there. Him as a wrestler with six man. That could be the future right there. Athlete of the month for... Uh... <laughs> oh my god Donovan I don't know how I can but I love you even more right now this minute <laughs> you are a gem my friend you are something else oh my goodness I love you, you to really peace. need to come out of your shell you really do yeah. <laughs> yeah. she needs to end for you my uh, dear oh <laughs> man oh my god. you have brought a tear to my eye on a very Saturday Morning. Oh my God, you are amazing. I, I, love you. I can't even. Oh my God. All right, Donovan. <laughs> Shit, man. Like I said, oh, man, I'm a very no shame person. in your game. Well done. Going <laughs> <laughs> on the internet too, so I mean. And it's gonna be there forever. Yeah, you can't take it back, right, Miss Robinson? No, you cannot. Yeah. As I was saying, before we got very surprised by one Donovan, the future, uh, I was talking about all of this stuff that we talk about and we hang out and we meet new people, we make new friends, we network with different. That's what wrestling, son of a bitch, if that's not what wrestling is all about, man. And I know it's supposed to be for the kids and, and all of that stuff, which is a portion of it but this whole friendship thing i absolutely love it and i can't thank each and every one of you for coming on on a you know 12 o'clock on a saturday who the fuck wants to come on and talk to don Kincaid? i can't thank you guys enough for coming on and hanging out with us man it's been awesome yeah it's been great 
Okay, we're doing next. talks to me, so I'm down for whatever time to talk. <laughs> You know, because no one's going anywhere. So. I know, right? It's not yeah. like I got, it's not like I got places to go, things to do. You know. As I stated before, I have a a busy day. I got four more interviews left after this. Nuts. And then you're done after this, right? You're taking your break. And then you're no, done. Take your break. No, no, no. Anything tomorrow? Of, Are you done? Well, yeah, because things got screwed up, so I had to cancel some and reschedule some. So now my date went from the 25th to the 27th. After the 27th, I'm going to kind of take a little break, but we're going to continue the fan roundtable so we can all hang out and have fun. And then I'm going to sprinkle in regular interviews. Mm. Yeah. Take your time, man. Take your time. I know, yeah. right? I've done over a hundred interviews in five weeks time. So I just want to take a little tiny break. I was gonna say, and the I winner of the bottom. I looked at a video. It was like the episode number was like 113. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> Don, I remember when you were first starting the stirring the pots too. So it's crazy to me that like every day I see like three or four new stirring the pots. And like a part yeah. of me is like, yay, something to watch. And another part of me is like, Don, take a fucking break, man. Sleep. <laughs> yeah. You're going to be dead. That's how the is over from exhaustion. He does stirring the pots after the stirring the pot, too. Dude. Stirring the, pot in the, morning. the pot after me. hours. Yeah. I, I do. Yeah. 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 I, I, I do a pot and roast with, with friend Eric. Oh, yeah. It's, it's amazing. Soon, pretty soon we're going to have like stirring the pot after dark. Uh, we, can, we can't record ours. <laughs> no, we can't. We just can't post them, you know. Like, and I'm not inviting Donovan because this no, kid's gonna no. be naked by the time uh, that's all done. Right there, that's it. <laughs> right there, that's it. <laughs> oh my God, Here you guys have been... after dark with Don. Can you? Man, this has been an amazing <laughs> ride. Holy cow! This hour has felt like 10, 15 minutes. We've had so much effing fun today, and I can't thank you guys enough. Uh, I want to give some love and props. Joanna Robinson, the future Donovan, the, uh, oh, the <laughs> woo, uh, friend Eric, big juicy from co for coming in late in our soiree and being a surprise guest. Andrew coming in, first time hanging out. I'm glad you weren't scared and you had some fun. Drink water coming in. And, and talking about your ref days, I can't wait till we see you get kicked in the face again. You guys have been absolutely <laughs> amazing, and I can't thank you enough for spending the time. I'll have the med kit when you get kicked in the face. Don't worry. All right. Yeah, All right. we got to double check that. that. I'll have the bomb bag ready. Right, make sure you're, you're front and center when you get kicked in the face. Everybody knows <laughs> when you get kicked in the face. What are you doing? When you get kicked in the face. What are you doing? <laughs> Oh, wait, is that mom? Donovan, is that mom? Hey, mom! Oh, it's it's oh, mom Donovan! You lied to me. You said that Big Juicy was not going to be on She's here. She's a guest. I <laughs> 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 you said, I'm going to put my Big Juicy shirt on and be no, clean up your mom behind you. And you went, She's not going to be on here. I didn't yeah. know. You missed it. I got changed. You told me I couldn't come on here. Why? Why? Why are you wearing that? Oh, I changed my shirt. Wow. 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 Oh, okay, let's all let's all calm down. Let's all calm down. Simma, just a little bit. Mom, welcome. This is the it's a fan roundtable. We all have fun. We get together. And Donovan, I mentioned his name and shirt in the same sentence more than once, and the kid turned in. Oh, my God. Hey, Lardo, <laughs> <nice>. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, and and now we see him in a singlet. This has been absolutely adorable. Your son, I love him for peace. nine times. I love him too. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hey, only only on the, the stirring the pot fan round table would we have ever seen that. I am so glad we stuck around for another two minutes right there, man. <laughs> 
Oh my god. That might be the best two That might be the best two minutes of my quarantine. My turn to say hi. <laughs> <laughs> this has been Sherman Pot and man, holy cow, what a fantastic time we had today. I cried because of Donovan. I laughed because of Donovan. I felt so warm inside because of all of you. We've had such a great, fantastic fan roundtable, and I cannot thank each and every one of you for spending the time with me today. And the fans, thank you so much, you guys. Yeah, Anytime. thank you, fans. You thank you, fans. It's really yes. important. Mm -hmm. Do yourself a favor. If you ever see Donovan, especially at a store, don't use his name and shirt in the same <laughs> sentence. Don't do that.